I see my attempt to blend was in vain. Black does your complexion a disservice. Are we ready, Mr. Weald? Whenever you are, James. Shall we begin with your friend? Ben? Yes. Ben was my closest friend. He had the disease for two days. On the third day, he was given to God and sent to the fields. Was he scared? Terrified. Though you're all people of faith. That's not to say we don't fear death, Mr. Weald. So it was Ben's time to die? In a sense, yes. It was his time to give back to the earth. In what way? A balance must always be upheld. It began in the insect kingdom, a disease delivered by God to those species who displayed early signs of dominance. What happened to them? A fungus would infect their brain, causing them to climb to the highest peak and cling on in anticipation of a task after death. Once dead, the fungus would grow from their heads, dispersing spores onto the ground below. The insects became plants themselves. And this is what became of Ben? Men, too, were made to be equal. And your partner? Had greed consumed her? No. Yet she fell to the disease. She did. Maybe your god was wrong on this account. Maybe. Do you ever wish you'd have seen it? The sky? Yeah. I have seen it. No, with your own eyes. Seen how blue it really was. I mean, why was it blue? Why was it even there? And where is it now? You know what happened. What? God destroyed it. Why do we just accept that? Well, why are we even talking about this? Let's just be happy with what God gave us. What God gave us? What does that mean? I don't know. Why not? Did he never tell you? He only talks to the elders. Yeah. You're right, I'll wait a few years, maybe have a word then. Oh no, that's right, I'll be a bush by then. Have I done something to piss you off? No. Really? Because a lot of this feels directed at me. Well, you're the only one here, James, unless you count God. What's happening to you is not my fault. No? Well, whose fault is it then? Mine? Do you think a God did this to me, James? Yes. So you think I deserve it? I don't know how to answer that. Try. For my sake, try. You're asking me to justify death. I'm asking you to justify mine. I can't. Okay. Well, you still love me when I'm a mushroom. <laughs> you followed her into the fields aware of the consequences? Yes. How long were you walking for? Couldn't tell you. How did you get here, James? James? 
How did you get here? Jane! I think that's enough for now. Your walk in the hotel. What happened there? Ben? Hello, James. Where are we? Earth. Earth? Years ago, a war broke out, and as a result, we decided to just separate. But it couldn't last long, and our people were overpowered and later forced to live underground. We were farmed. The farms number in their hundreds. A synthetic weather helps sustain life, but no real sunlight down there makes our bodies weak. And combine that with religious propaganda, and we become very easily controlled. The most intelligent amongst the farms are picked and brought up here, to the real world. Survival of the fittest. Who knows about this? Only the privileged few up here. Down there, over time, it was forgotten, or made to be forgotten. There's no disease, is there? No. It's a poison administered using a selective water supply. The trees, or the fields, as we called them, is their extraction zone. It's where they inject you with the cure and then bring you up here. The trees provide oxygen to the farms. They were never people. And the lights are UV lights. They replace the sun. The trees need them to survive underground. She could have been cured. Yes. She'd worked all this out, you know. And that's why she was picked. By Mr. Weald? Yes. But Mr. Weald's not with us. He works for EOL. He's in control of the intake of people from the farms. He wants to ascertain whether there's unrest, whether the faith is being questioned. The last thing he wants is an uprising. We didn't think he'd contact you this soon. Once he knows the farms are secure, he'll want to be rid of you. You're not safe. Leave. Tonight. Meet me at my place tomorrow. <laughs> what am I doing here? Revolution. So, he plans an uprising, and you're the key. The key? How? Meet me on the roof in the morning. There's too many people here. Are we ready, Mr. Weald? How did you get here? Revolution. People will come for you now. Why are you still here? My name's Winston. I'm with Ben. It's time we left. How did you do that? Nanotech. 
What's that? The ability to change... to enhance a person's DNA. To make you stronger. Faster. The ability to disassemble in one place and reassemble in another. Nanotech is what makes us more powerful, more intelligent, and yet also less unique. EOL helps you become a retail product in the consumer market. Injecting yourself with new abilities became a trend. The more you paid, the better you got. The rich became more powerful than anyone could have imagined. Mass protests were held for equality. Eventually, it became a human right to have these injections. EOL were ordered to release the technology, and Nanos were to be given at birth. What we thought to be equality was actually EOL's final step in taking control. Oh. They oversee the world from stations suspended above every major city. If a person were to go within 200 meters of them, the nanotech that they implanted in our minds would simply switch off, killing us instantly. They control us all. These allow me to momentarily take control of the thoughts or actions of the nanotech. Can you control me? People of the farms aren't given the nanos. When people are extracted to the world above, they're injected. So that's why you need me. I can't be switched off. Get in. Welcome to life, James. Remarkable, isn't it? Remarkable. Where is she? It was your actions that led to her death, and yet you barely blinked. You're a more compassionate man than that, James. Where is she? Where is Grace? You're not an easy man to get alone, Mr. Wheels. It was Ben's idea, actually, to tell you this story of my ascension to your world. We created a buzz and planted a myth that someone had escaped the fields. But that's all it ever was. A myth. Such a grand revelation. But I see no need to keep you alive anymore. You forget I'm the one holding the gun. I didn't forget. I was counting on it. You ask me where she is, she's right behind you. Killing me won't change a thing. Killing you gives us a window. A small window, but enough chance to get word to the field. Enough time to collect a person not infected with nanotech. Enough time to start a revolution. You see, you were the key. It was never me. I applaud you. I really do. Thank you. Goodbye, James. Goodbye, Mr. Wheels. <laughs>